Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So as you might be able to see, I am not in my flat kitchen, but instead at the Student Living Specialists Scape. I am in their Bloomsbury accommodation, which is in the heart of London, as we have been working on a very exciting collaboration, which I'm so thrilled to share with you. Working with Scape, I'm going to be sharing some of my most requested and much loved recipes. So I can hopefully share with you how to cook affordable, nutritious and healthy recipes. This will be available to download off Escape's website now, but today I thought I would share with you my roasted vegetable couscous. This is a Maying Chow staple, so we've got our brain boosting vegetables here, and you can choose to add in some meat and some fish, so we've got tuna, um, but it's so easy to prepare on the weekends and then you've got it in your fridge for the rest of the week. The guide will be packed with recipes, so you can access them on the go or in between lectures, and it will have all you need in one book. So we will have communal dishes, so you can make them with your flatmates. We've got one dish wonders, so you don't have to use loads of different utensils. And then we will also have library lunches. So for those nights when you want to prepare something before a big cram, we will have you covered. But just a quick word on Scape. As you can see, they have amazing facilities like this communal kitchen. They've also got cinemas and gyms. So Scape is more than just a student accommodation provider. Students are at the heart of everything they do. They really care about the well-being of their residents, for example the initiative of the recipe book. So first thing is first when it comes to making the roasted vegetable couscous is the roasted vegetables. So I have a pre-prepared tin foil tray where I will place all of my roasted vegetables on it and I'm basically going to cover them in olive oil, loads of seasonings. I've got chili pepper, I've got normal pepper, I've got mixed herbs, I've got chili salt. Now as you can see I like this a lot because there isn't much left but this is so good. And we've also got our table salt as well so these vegetables will be cooked nicely and hopefully will marinate in the oven. So here we've got one sweet potato which has been chopped up and diced. We've got about a handful of broccoli which has been cut into little florets along with about 80 grams of mushrooms and 80 grams of tomatoes because 80 grams is equal to one of your five a day servings so just make sure you get that in. One thing that I should mention when you're cooking this is that you can choose any vegetables that you like to roast. So not many people would roast broccoli but with this chili pepper it makes it kind of crunchy and it gives it a really nice depth of flavour. This sweet potato is also super cheap and it adds a bit of bulk to the meal. It was maybe 20p, I think, for a whole sweet potato. So it all adds in and this will make around three to four servings. So you want to cover all of the vegetables. Um, and this is where you're going to get your hands dirty. So I'm going to go wash my hands. So now that my hands are all clean, I'm just going to mix everything around. Your hands are going to get quite oily and you just want everything to be covered. So this seasoning packet actually came from, I think it was Vienna. I just bought this in a random spice market. And you can pick these up quite cheap. This was about a pound. This has lasted me a very long time. Now this chili salt is actually from France. The salt makes it go kind of crispy and adds loads of flavor. The chow family used to be known as the bland family because we never used to season our food. It was only, I think, maybe four or five years ago that my mum learned what salt and pepper was. It's pretty life-changing for our family. This is a bruschetta seasoning packet. Um, and again, this was also bought in Vienna, but it's just so nice to add into the dishes because it adds a bit of thump thump. The best thing about this is when you start with the vegetables, you can do everything else while they cook. Brilliant. So now I'm just gonna stick these in the oven for about half an hour to 40 minutes. Toss them a little bit because it's often the broccoli that will go a bit brown. So while the vegetables cook for the 30 or 40 minutes, I'm now going to move on to making my couscous. So couscous is great because it's so cheap. I got one kilogram of couscous for 99p in Aldi. It's a one to one ratio. So one cup, this is just a random ramekin that I have at home, um, of couscous and then another ramekin full of hot but not boiling hot water. So while the couscous expands and starts to cool, something that's quite nice to add into the roasted veg couscous is some fried peppers. So I have one yellow pepper all chopped up nicely. I'm gonna just chuck that in a pan with some oil, season it a bit. Lovely induction hob, so they get very hot. Unlike 
the hob that I have at home, which is a very old gas one, um, and it takes ages to heat up. Capper. So I don't splash out on much, but the one thing I do splash out on is peas. Now I am a big fan of the Petit Pois peas, not the cheap own brand Sainsbury's ones. As a lot of students will choose those, because they're cheap, but they're kind of floury when you cook them, whereas these, they pop in your mouth, beautiful. So I'm gonna add them in just to heat them up. So this usually makes three servings. So what I'm gonna do, put one on a plate so I can eat it, and then two in a Tupperware so I can store it for a later date. I'm now gonna start plating up the couscous. So one thing I also pride myself in is my couscous to veg ratio. So you've gotta get this right. You don't want too much couscous, but you don't want too much veg. You just want them to like complement each other. And the best thing, normally I don't actually play this because I am prepping for a week, but you can just shake things about in a Tupperware and it doesn't go everywhere. Normally, I have my glasses on so it steam up, but I'm wearing contacts today so I can actually see. So I'm just gonna let this cool down a bit before I add it into the Tupperware. So as you can probably see from this recipe, it is actually the seasonings and the herbs that you put in that make the difference. But something that I saw recently, I think in Tiger, they're currently selling packets of herbs for a pound, like all these different types of seasoning. So they've got a bruschetta one, they've got a pizza topping base seasoning packet as well. They've got loads at the moment, all for one pound. So I've also got one tin of tuna here, which has just been drained and fluffed up a bit. Um, I've added that for some protein in my number threes. I've also got half a pack of feta cheese here, um, just the salad cheese, because I had half a pack in my fridge and I thought I'd use it. And I often add it in because it adds a nice kind of creamy taste to it. I let it cool down before I stick it in the fridge because you don't want any condensation on your Tupperware because otherwise it won't last as long. So the thing that makes this stay fresh, tasty and quite citrusy, I'd say, is the lemon juice and the apple cider vinegar. These are two staples that you should have in your kitchen. Um, as a student, I had these last year, even when I didn't have a proper kitchen, but you can make any salad, any dish taste nice with some lemon juice and apple cider vinegar, but a salt and pepper as well. So tomorrow what I would do is I just take out the Tupperware and I'd have them fresh from the fridge. And so this is the finished dish. Scape and I have worked so hard on making this the ultimate cookbook and we would love to see your recreations of the recipes. So please do let me know in the comments down below what your favorite recipe was and don't forget to share this with all of your friends. I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. Please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for weekly videos. Don't forget to check out Scape's website in the description box below for more details and I'll see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye.